so 23 pixels here, and I'm sorry, 23 uh, in the horizontal and 73 in the vertical. And so, so what you do is you send a message. Well, hopefully, if there are intelligent beings out there, they understand prime numbers. It's a universal language, okay? And they understand semi-primes. So they understand these things so they can decipher this. And now, as you see here at the very bottom, we have the Arecibo uh, telescope. And the lights come in here, and they all bounce back on the focal plane, or focal point of that thing. So that's a telescope. Uh, and so, so then we are telling those guys where we come from. We said we come from this solar system. This is the sun. That's uh, Mercury, Venus, and that's Earth. You either bumped up Earth to say that we are here. And the man is right sitting on the Earth, okay? So that's the man. And then, and then uh, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, and so on, okay? At that time, Pluto was not retired as a, as a planet, so they put Pluto there. Okay, but now if they send one, they would not put Pluto there because they don't have any planets. Okay, uh, anyway. So this is, this is the message it was sent, okay? And this message was targeted M13, cluster M13, which, has, which is 25,000 light years um, away from us. Okay, that means it's gonna take 25,000 years for this, for this message to get there. It hasn't been, look, it's been going for what? For since 1974, okay? So only 36 years ago. So it's still here somewhere, okay? That's right, so it's not, it hasn't gone very far, okay? <laughs> As a matter of fact, the farthest object that, that we've seen is Voyager 1, and it's gone only 16 light hours, okay? And it was launched in 1974, I believe, I'm not sure. But then that's, that's the farthest object, okay? Um, Where did it start? It's, 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 it's mind-boggling, okay? But anyway, as you see, as I said, this is, this is what the graphic looks like. And then you have, you know, you have the, the elements, uh, one through 10, um, that's one. And then you have the atomic number of the elements, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and so on. And the DNA, uh, and uh, formulas for sugar and bases of the nuclear part of DNA. And all of these things, okay? So you're trying to tell other people uh, how we're here, okay? So. Okay. So some semi-primes, again, we have to, we have to, we have to, we don't know what semi-primes are, so as a function of their indices. So again, we have to tap it like and write a program to do this. So you find out, for example, the 19th one is 55, 27th one is 82, and 30th is, uh, 30th one is, is 87, okay? Uh, all right, so this is another one, triprimes. Now, triprimes from Wolfram, if you, Go to the web, you, you find this out, just type in triprimes in, in the uh, Google search. And you see that uh, they, they can be factored in three primes, okay? So that means that it's two times, two times 11, for example, 44 is a, is a triprime. 102 is a triprime, two times, three times 17, okay? Now, remember now, that one was a two-dimensional two panel. Now this, you can think of it as a three-dimensional object. And if you try to code this, you can actually build a three-dimensional image in there. And it becomes a lot more difficult to decipher this code because now you have to find out all of those prime components, you see. It's an order of magnitude more difficult than, than the bi primes because you're not finished. Once you find one of them, now you're at the level of bi prime, then you find the other one, then you can solve it, and then you have to decipher that code, okay? And number bases. This number bases were used to binary numbers, for example, because of computers. Okay. And that's not very old. Okay. So they started with the invention of computers. And, and so binary numbers are, have only 0 and 1. And so we use that for electronic computers because uh, a wire either had current in it or it didn't. If it had an electric current in it, it was 1. If it didn't have, it was null, then it was 0. So with those wires, as many you have, in the old computers, they had these wire wraps. And if you look at, for example, moon machines from the 60s, that's what they did. Okay. They actually made these wire wraps so because they didn't have electronic chips. Okay. Later on, they had electronic chips, so things became a lot smaller. But that's how it was. 
So all of those were programmed through those wire apps. And if, if they made a mistake in those wire apps, then they were in trouble. Okay? Uh, so they had to go through it. It was very difficult to find it. So it wasn't easy. Okay? So anyway, uh, so for example, octal base, you've heard of octal base is 0 to 7. So you can, for example, write a number. Okay? You can write a number, for example, uh, 114. Okay? And to us, because we work with decimal, we always say, oh, 114 means 114. Okay? However, if somebody is actually used to octal, 114 for that person doesn't mean 114. It means actually 76. Okay? So you have to figure out what base number that person, so it's, it's communications, you see. So a lot of things that happen is because of lack of communications. People don't want to hear your side. Okay? They don't want to hear your argument. They don't want to hear your, your point of view. They just think that they are right. Now, when that person says 114, 114, and you demand $114 for that, from that person, that person is working in octo, for him or for her is only $76. It gives you 76 bucks, you'd be probably mad. But it's just lack of communications, okay? So that's, that's, that's most of the problem you start with. So how this actually generates the parameters of the Quran, okay? Okay, so uh, the natural value of Arabic alphabet, okay? Arabic alphabet, just like Hebrew, Hebrew stops at 400 because there are only 22 letters in Hebrew alphabet. In Arabic alphabet, there are 28, and they all have a gematrial value uh, associated with it. So it's like alpha, beta, gamma, delta, okay? Latin is the same way. So you have one, two, three, four, up to nine, I'm sorry, up to 10, and then after that goes 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 90, and then it goes 100, uh, 200, 300, up to 1,000, okay? So what happens is that basically every written word would have a value, okay? A gematria value corresponding to it. Okay, like for example, uh, uh, there are some of the names that you, uh, people could be familiar with, and they have gematria value of Adam, for example, is 46, Jesus is 150, in Arabic, uh, Muhammad is 92, Moses uh, is 116, and Noah is 64. Okay, so this is this is uh, that. Okay. So I'm going to stop here and have a break for 10-15 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll see the rest of uh, this. Uh, how this actually generates the parameters of the Quran. Okay.